What's up, Internet? I am Bianca, and for today, we'll be doing a little bit of a quick Let's Play for this brand new game called Cosmos Quick Stop that our good friends over at Vim Global were kind enough to send us a review copy of. Um, I actually don't know anything about this game apart from what they told me uh, in the email that I received from them and basically it's sort of a uh, time management game to the likes of um, Hearts Medicine and um, the uh, restaurant management games that have you running around and you know completing orders it's like that but for this we're, we are basically an alien <laughs> we're controlling an alien working at a uh, at a gas station, a pumping gas uh, station, you know, for spaceships, I suppose. Um, this is all new to me, but I do love this kind of genre. And from what I've seen, this is pretty unique in a sense that it's a whole lot um, upgraded. You know, it's, it's sort of an upgraded version of every single game of the same genre that I have played. Uh, graphically speaking, as well as the mini games included, which are part of what you have to do in order to run uh, the gas station. Anyway, I think I babbled enough, so let's head over here and click campaign. So yeah. So, like I've said, let's start the campaign. So, I actually have an hour and 31 minutes worth of play time for this game. I've done quite a lot. I've actually completed uh, the first of what I know is many challenges, and that's why we've unlocked the challenges option in the main menu. Um, normally, at the beginning of the game, when you boot the game up for the first time, challenges like sandbox option right here, uh, they're grayed out. Now, now, we dive into the campaign. So, this game actually has co-op. Uh, you can play with a controller if you play on co-op. And I just don't know if it's a split screen co-op. <laughs> so, you guys would have to try that out for yourselves in the future because uh, in this channel, or me personally, I'll only be playing this in a single player mode, um, at least uh, at this time. <laughs> and also, for today, we'll be doing uh, three stages for this game, just so you guys can see um, what the play through, uh, or the gameplay rather, what the gameplay of this title is and how utterly fun and ridiculous it can be. Uh, so anyways, you did good kiddo. We showed him that. We showed him that we still have plenty to offer here at Cosmos. I bet Dr. Quasar is shaking in his stupid metal boots. But I have some bad news. It looks like you overworked the switcheroo and despite so many fail saves, the darn thing exploded. The good news is I had it insured for a lot of money. So much in fact that I bought two more docking stations. More docks equals more customers, Morven. You're gonna love it. I also finished installing our very own time spinner. Use it to relive all your favorite memories with your favorite uncle. Just don't play in the time sand, okay, kiddo? And one last thing. You just unlocked a new game mode in the main menu, Challenges. It has some pretty advanced stuff in there, so I recommend saving it for later. But hey, it's your game. Uh, yeah, so we actually, again, have completed a lot uh, prior to this recording. Um, hold on, let me just uh, head to the planning table. Here it is, um, layout. We actually have finished uh, up to... Uh, stage 8 so we're now currently at stage 9 and we'll be playing until stage 11 right here um, we've also unlocked all of these amenities now before we actually play let me just explain a couple a couple of gameplay mechanics now unlike um, time management games where you um, upgrade stuff and those upgrades are permanent whatever uh, 
thing you used to upgrade, uh, it's gone. But for Cosmo's uh, quick stop, we can remove the upgrades and still retain stores and we can upgrade them again. So depending on what the stage calls for, we can interchange these updates to make it easier on ourselves. Another thing is that all the amenities are services here they have this functional um, meter so everything has a chance uh, well not everything but yeah everything has actually yeah I just remembered I actually managed to break the <laughs> refill pump in one of the levels so I didn't have that in the next but yeah uh, we can interchange these services and amenities uh, just to make sure that none of them break and also um, since we still have to unlock a couple more but the thing is uh, in the previous I mean in the beginning stages right up to uh, stage 7 you have to interchange you have to change the amenities and what that does is that uh, replenishes the gauge you know that repairs it keeps it from breaking and also that makes it so that it becomes um, something that the customers look forward to so when you put them back the amount of money you can get from them increases so that's one of the things and the perks of changing the amenities another thing is that we have here work goals so these are actually things that you would have to accomplish um, I'm not really sure what uh, exactly the um, reward is for completing all of them apart from achievement this is a steam game um, but in the previous uh, group of work goals we actually don't have to work all that hard to get them since they're part of the story now I'm not really sure if this is the same as th that um but no fail days is actually pretty easy to do as long as you <laughs> keep on top of every single task in minigame that you would have to do so i think i've explained quite a number of gameplay mechanics already so let's just start so yeah we'll be playing three stages of the game just so you guys have a grasp of how fun the gameplay is and how quirky this game is um okay so first up whoa the place is bigger now okay oh my god six needs pump so yeah the controls are keyboard and Mouse. Okay, I need to six. Oh my gosh. Coffee. One. This is a lot harder now because um you uh, you why you why why because I have no idea where some of the things are because everything now is bigger. I have to find a control room. The control room. I need to find uh, where oh here it is the storage room because we have to replenish the vending machine head to five two three four five is right here um, C C C T T L then pump that gas up move to three C T U L L. you have to be really quick in this um and it doesn't really matter if you have the upgrades you still need to move quickly because crap. you have to clean the poop the goop is the poop so many poop six um you have to refill six the vending machine again. Oh my god. Three. You also have to be quick with um oh my goodness. I 
am so lost. Okay. That alarm means that there is a meteorite hurl hurtling towards us, so we have to do this little task in order to evade it, otherwise... Combo! Combo! Otherwise, the gas station will end up exploding. Maybe. No, I'm just kidding. It's not gonna explode. Um, but we will lose whatever money we got from uh, the customers. So we have to go live. I'm not gonna lose. Oh shoot! That was my first fail ever! Oh crap, in the bottom stick. I don't know what that means. Okay, I've already pressed it. Enough there. I didn't notice. <laughs> Six is right over here. I need to like realign myself to the map so many times. Because okay. Three, so we have to spin this. Six, two, combo! Bring this up. So I mean there the good thing about this game is that the the devs actually um also included a warning, you know, um, about the, uh, uh, for people with photosensitive eyes, six, like they have the warning, uh, that you m might have to be wary of the flashing lights and stuff like that, but um, so far, uh, wait, sorry. so far I haven't really experienced anything bad. <laughs> um, when you take into consideration that games like Beat Souls, which I just made a thoughts and impressions video of, they are much much worse. And this one... Okay, gotta hurry. This one isn't really that bad, apart from how much... Oh crap. How wobbly the, uh, the camera can be. I need to wind this up. Go to three. After that, uh, this is really bad. <laughs> like I was much better. Oh shoot! Before this game, just much easier before. But that is to be expected. It is after all much higher difficulty. C T T U L L L. -L. Or C T T L. So yeah, the words used or the letters used are just just a couple of those letters C T and L U. So, I need orange. I need orange. Oh my gosh, orange. And O six. There's four. This is just too big. I don't think we're. I don't think we're doing well. Combo here. Okay, I have to clean this first. Clean this a little bit. Just enough. C C C T T L. Press the L there. This one you have to press two buttons, it doesn't really matter, or keys, it doesn't really matter what you press, but yeah, that's it. How well did we do? Ah, we didn't get a star, because we failed. That was, that was actually my first fail, in that hour and a couple minutes that I've played this game, I've never failed before, but uh, we have... 34 ships serviced, uh, 2 ships failed, I think it's because of the asteroid, and 26 seconds of average ship wait time, so we have to do better. Also, 
leveled up a couple of tasks. If it did manage to complete a work goal, if it has already hit a quiz up, a customer will leave the game. Don't let that happen. So that's what happened. You like music, you know? Of course you do. Everyone does. That's why I got a real life animatronic band for you. You know, I don't think it's a good idea to add animatronics. I'm just saying, FNAF. <laughs> that should be a warning lesson. Uh, warning in the lesson. I mean, um, uh, band to play with. Uh, turn it on to distract fussy customers. Careful though, you gotta pay the band on every new stupid robot labor loss. Okay. So, play with a uh, space. I think that's a new band. Maybe. I'm not really sure. Um, okay. We don't really have a star. We don't have any amenities to change. Oh, we have. We do have one. Um, what do I. I don't like this. So maybe I can. Yeah, let's do that. <laughs> because I really don't like having to input. You know, I, I already have to take care of the vending machine. I don't want to have to take care of the gift shop as well. Uh, what else? Or there's really nothing else we can add. So let's start. You already have an... Okay. Thank you for reminding me. Let me unequip this first. Again, we can unequip the upgrades, which is pretty fun. Cool. And stuff. Um, uh, faster. So yeah, let's upgrade this. And let's start our second day, second of three days for this quick let's play or this quick play. I have to remember where everything is. Okay, let's refill. Refill this. Okay, we need to go to four. Four is right over here. Three, four is over here. Smash those keys. Head to six. Okay, four. Help this person out. Six. Okay, press the button. Clean the bathroom because my goodness, what are all these people eating? For them to make the bathroom so disgusting. Okay, three. Two, two is right over. I hope I'm not making anyone dizzy with how I'm controlling this. Help this little fella reach their planet because for some reason they're lost. Expect them to know where they're going because you'd think they'd have like advanced. Okay, wind this up. Navigation systems. <laughs> Six. Um, I have to refill this. Need more orange. Need more orange in my life. Okay, four. Go. Then one is right over here. I think we just. <laughs> The long way around. Okay. All good. All good. Keep up. This up. I have to clean the bathroom soon. Clean it up. We don't want anything stinky. Six. Okay. Next. What else? Need to refill anything? Nothing yet. Head to five because someone needs, someone needs gas. Pump. It do. Uh, let me just help you with that. Try to perfectly evade the asteroid this time. Again, help with the directions. Man, so many of these aliens get lost so easily. Wind this up. Five is over here. Wind this up first. Oh my god, I think I need to use the pump. Uh, three, three, three is over here. <laughs> Don't need to do anything there. Okay, three. Uh, 
um, five, that's wrong, six is over here, I have to remember where everything is, C-T-U-L-L, two, C-T-U-L-L again, C-T-T-L, P-Help, this lost person to combo! So many things happening all at once. Like I thought the game was easy before because you only have to take care of like two places. Now it's like I don't even know how I'm managing right now. I have to focus, otherwise I'm gonna lose the flow. Okay, I need to wind the fabulous this one. Max, clean all this filth. Um, help this lost customer. Evade <laughs> so many things. Like, I feel for this alien dude that we're controlling because I think he's just a life field freak. He's just a kid. I think, based from the opening uh, cutscene. Uh, we failed. Uh, that's it. I didn't notice that. Uh, six, four, what happens when I talk too much. <laughs> Four. You. Okay, help you out. Five. Just the wrong button. Combo! Got a combo! <laughs> really love that announcement. I'm pressing K instead of L. Doi. Doi. Okay, one. Where is it? Okay, one is up. Head to two. Oh my gosh, I took a long way around. <laughs> I took the long way round. It was right there. already closed and we missed one customer so we didn't obtain the no ship fails but we did get fast service because 25 seconds or less we got 24 seconds ship average ship wait time so that's good also unlocked a couple of um, services and amenities or skill upgrades uh, you have completed the replay with ace of space I did I really don't know what I did to unlock that. Oh, Marvin, I'm glad you're here. Look who stopped by to congratulate us on our ex uh, on our recent expansion. Dr. Quasar and my nephew, Morvin. Ah, yes, Morvin. Cosmo has already told me so much about you. Such a fine lad, helping his well seasoned uncle run the family business and doing a bang up job of it, I hear. Uh, yeah, you know, I'm starting to wonder how I ever got by without him. I was just telling your uncle how I admire you, what you both do here at this, um, quaint little pit stop. I want you to know that despite my similar business interests, there is no way, uh, there's no reason to see me as your rival. By the way, that's something I think I forgot to, s to tell, is that, um, this guy built a more advanced, uh, what do you call this, a quick stop, just right next to... Cosmos quick stop and he has everything and everything is like really technological advanced while Cosmos have all these clunky stuff going for them. 
that we really really need to upgrade you know I'm, I'm not sure if we can actually make the shop beautiful or what but I'm hoping that someone somewhere down the line will be able to do so in fact it's a symbol of goodwill I bought you a little gift so basically a uh, doctor Quasar is is a uh, rival really he's, he's like the bad guy of this game oh it's uh, it's lovely isn't it a rare specimen i'll just set it right here to pack up this tree corner what say you that this is some kind of trap that's gonna make our lives harder or a surveillance thingy ah oh, yes look at that it really ties the room together yeah, thanks, Dr. Quasar. What a neighborly gesture. Isn't it nice, Morvin? Well, I must be going. The convenience cube doesn't run itself. You know, I thought it does. Oh, wait, actually, it runs. It does run itself. Ha! Regardless, it's been truly wonderful to meet you both. Best of luck. So, yeah, he's. I think he is going to be um, a tough person to be beat with how as i've said before advanced his services are what, what he is offering like they don't he doesn't need to hire anybody uh, maybe i was wrong about him morvin he seems like a friendly enough teller even if his choice in decorating is a little eccentric see that's spy thingy that's gonna make our life harder or it's gonna like ruin, try to ruin Cosmo's quick stuff. Don't give me that goofy look, Morvin. There's a lot of work to do. Better get back to it. So yeah, we're getting back to it. Um, another thing is that we can unlock <laughs> costumes for uh, Morvin, and I only have a couple right now. This one is something you can't really miss. This one you can get from actually doing the the work, uh, work uh, the, the the list completing the list. And this goes with this one. Uh, I think this goes with this one. But I prefer wearing the weird parasite hat. <laughs> so yeah, let's let's keep this look. This looks fine. Um, okay, final stage of the night for this quick let's play. Um, that's the TV. That's not what I was trying to click. It was uh, this. It was the work uh, table. Okay, so which one? We don't really have a choice. We have to put this back. And... Yeah, one of them is gonna break. I don't want I, I don't want this to break. I'm fine with this breaking. Because we really don't have a choice. We don't have a choice with, with the amenities. Everything is gonna break. Hmm. Okay. Except can I change this? This. Okay. Change this to the gas pump, just so that it won't break. Okay, what did we... We're gonna get the, that message again. So I'm gonna take these off. And there really isn't anywhere else we can put them, I think. Okay, put them here. Also this one. Think and that one. All right, let's start. Uh, no, what an equip of oh, this one it can take that off. Add this. What else? Can I think that's good enough, right? Let's start the final day of our let's play. If you use the same menti of uh, yeah. It's gonna break down, so we have to be careful about what we use. So, like before, first order of business is refilling. Okay, first. 
everything. Five. K, U, Y, U. Bye bye. Bring them up. Head to six. It's two and six. Head to three. The challenge here is not just managing how you do things, but also remembering the controls. That this control does that. Like, it's not all just, you know, keyboard and. Uh, it's not all mouse. You have to use the keyboard and even the arrow keys sometimes. Here, head to four to pump the gas, the, the gas, not the gas. So many things happen in the home place. <laughs> it's crazy. Okay, head to one. I'll refill that in a bit. Five, five, combo. Talking too much because my throat is feeling weird right now. So I've been talking a lot. I made a couple of recordings today. This is like the last recording. I would have to do this right over here. Now my throat's all itchy. Okay, oh no. Let's deal with the asteroid first. Combo! Combo! Four. Okay, let's just... One. Four. Let's crank this up. really making anyone un uncomfortable with how I'm moving the camera. I don't think it's that bad, but why, why, why are you doing this? Combo! amenities really 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 quick. Right over here. Combo! Combo! 
<laughs> you really gotta love that announcer. Again? I already have the upgrade that should make me this a uh, oh my gosh, fast forward. That's the wrong key. That's annoying. And then five. It's right over here. Doi. So the timer actually, or the patience meter, or that meter that goes down, it stops when you actually start doing a task. So as long as you do the task, Combo! Um, you don't really have to worry about the timer going down until you finish doing the task and then work on the next task. Ah, oh, we lost one customer and $54 because if we fail to complete that minigame for the asteroid, we're gonna lose um, the payment for uh, that customer should have given to us. Um, but we do have 27 seconds, so we if we could have been two seconds faster, then we could have gotten a star. Pose or pose a great way to buy all the parts you earn from each service at the end of the day. <laughs> um, do you believe in magic, Morven? Well, if you didn't before, you will now, because I just brought us a certified, bona fide, enchantified fortune telling machine. Give it a try at the plant desk. What could possibly go wrong? Uh, that's a good question. Uh, so yeah, that's the three stages that I told you guys we'll be playing for today, uh, today's video, for today's quick play. But before we actually end it, what? Where is it? I thought there was a fortune. T oh, this. It's an, an amenity. 67% um, to break. So we can change this for this and this one for this. There we go. Uh, what else? 33 chance. Everything is 33 chance to break. Uh, let's switch this up. It's just, you know, for the next episode. But yeah, that's all the time we have for today. But before I actually say goodbye for today, let me just say that this game is actually a lot of fun. Um, honestly, I wouldn't have checked this game out if I, if this didn't come into my attention, like if nobody told me or sent me that email about this game, I wouldn't have given it a try because I wouldn't have known that it would be this fun and interesting. And I'm actually invested in finding out how the rivalry between Cosmo and Dr. Quasar or Quasar is going to end up and what's the deal with the plant how will it make Cosmo's life hard uh, yeah I'm I really am curious about those things um, apart from the game being fun I think my issue with this was that in the earlier levels when you unlock the recharger they didn't really tell you what exactly you have to do. The, the instructions were vague. That's the only complaint I have of the game. Uh, because even though I'm not really fond of games with wobbly cameras or cameras that move too fast because they make me dizzy, this game didn't. This game didn't actually gave me any headaches even though I played it like for an hour straight earlier earlier today just so I could see what the game is about um, and try it out of course and the warning as I've said in the beginning about photo sensitive uh, seizures and epilepsy about that uh, people having those problems being careful with this game because it has flashing lights and colors and stuff like that it's not as bad again as compared to the game that I made a thoughts of 
uh, thoughts and impressions video of uh, a couple of days back um, compared to uh, Beat Souls because this one is really quite easy to the eyes. Because like I've said in that video, I had a hard time playing that game and after just a short while it gave me a headache. But this, I could probably keep playing it, this game, for much longer than an R because of how fun and addicting it is. But yeah, if you guys are interested, this game is available on Steam and I'll link the description down below or you can see the flash on the screen right now. Uh, what else? Um, yeah, this has a couple of bugs in it as well. Uh, like the in that hour-long playthrough that I did earlier today, I had to replay one um, one stage because the results uh, report the results report report page that didn't pop out after the game said that the the shop was closed. So I had to replay that stage uh, <laughs> just so I could get that uh, end stage uh, report thingy that they they show us at the end of each stage um but yeah that's all i could say for now i'm gonna go and make an actual thoughts and review video for this game once i finish playing the entire thing um but for now i think that will do for this video again thank you all for watching and I'll see you all in the next one. Until then, you guys know the drill. Dream on, fly on. Bye-bye for now. Keep safe, everyone.